Bro, this show? Nah, I love this. For real. What's up, it's Pania. My tour starts this week and I don't have an outfit for my Melbourne show. So, I want you guys to pick an outfit for me and I will wear the winner's outfit for the Melbourne show. Can't wait to see. Love you. Bye. So we received a message from our friend and talented musician, Paniel. She needs us to put a fit together ASAP. And we're all going to get a different store and see who can put together the best outfit. But before we do all that, we need to get to know her more. Growing up, like all my best friends could sing and like I could never sing, but I always wanted to be able to sing. And I was always like a really shy kid. And then I watched this Justin Bieber documentary. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> like I want to sing. So then I started like low key singing, like doing YouTube karaoke, like in my room for so long. Were you posting on YouTube too? Never, never, never. I never had the confidence. Like I never did those covers, never posted. Yeah. I think it was uni, like I could either do music or business and I was like I'm just gonna do music yeah. and then in there we like got forced to do songwriting classes so I'd write songs and people would be like yo like this is really good like things that I'm writing people are feeling connected to so yeah. I love this feeling so let me just keep going with it and yeah I just kept going with it ever since and it's just like I don't know I guess it just keeps growing. Uh, so Pony, I'm curious when was your earliest memory of you like getting an interest in fashion? Um, my earliest memory of getting into fashion was watching like 2000s music videos, Christina Aguilera, Aaliyah, Lil' Kim, Erica, Lauren Hill, Tupac, Biggie. But what was it about that style that kind of made you gravitate towards it? I don't know, I just thought it was cool. Like, it was like so different from what I'd seen in Australia. So I like yeah. always gravitated towards that American kind of influence. How would you describe your style or what influences your style? I would describe my style as like bold, sexy, and a balance between like tomboyish masculine and then like hyper sexy leather. I love leather, like I always have a leather statement piece. I see you wear a lot of latex as well. Latex yeah. as well, yeah. I love like the tight fitted latex like singlets. I've been wearing them lately. I just feel like they're sexy. Yo, so Panya, tell me, what's your go-to outfit on just any casual day? Go-to would probably be baggy jeans like this. Uh, Either Tim's or my Martin Rose shocks, because they're just slip-ons. I just like skin-tight things and just like baggy denim. For me, is like my combo. And I like wearing like a lot of black, but then having a pop of color or like, you know, the denim, blue denim. And then, yeah, I always have, try and incorporate like a pop somewhere. What's something that you definitely don't want us to pick out for you? Probably like floral, floral prints. Floral prints? Like granny floral. I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> Damn it, floral. I did floral. <laughs> did you? No. <laughs> Maybe like skinny jeans, skinny or like jeans. those skinny ripped jeans. That's easy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you guys wouldn't. Do you reckon that there's much of a crossover between fashion and music? Honestly, what consumes me more than music is fashion, because it's like, okay, you have this song, you have this idea, but it's like, what's gonna bring it to life and for me it's always like the outfits the styling yeah. so like that honestly takes up more of my time for me personally it's like i have the song but it's like bringing that to life with fashion and visuals yeah. i feel like it helps paint the picture so much more i feel like fashion and music just are so similar in so many senses as opposed to a lot of other creative yeah. expressions it's like the same vulnerability yeah. you, like a uh, artist like music artists and a it really uh, like is. designer puts themselves through because it's yeah. like it's so reliant on like literally the public or like something going off or like fashion on a surface level can be looked at as superficial but when you talk to any designers that are designing collections and you hear like what they put into it and what it means to them and what it might mean to other people it's insane okay so out of us four yeah who do you think your style kind of resonates more with I feel like there's like aspects of each one of you that I resonate with. Like Jada's like really baggy pants. Um, you, I like your like big leather jacket. Bernard, I like how he kind of that nice balance of like feminine and masculine. I feel like he does that really well. 
And then Phoebe just makes like fire custom pieces for like shows. So I feel like all of you guys have. It's a difficult one too. Yeah, <laughs> you can't really pick. Choose. Like you, you guys really all them. have mm. parts of me, so it's cool. If any at all, were there any challenges that you kind of had to overcome? Definitely a few challenges along the way. One I would say would be being in Australia and just feeling so isolated from like everything. Like I just feel like we're here and then everything that we want to be and like that is like, you know, is like all the way over there. So that's probably the biggest challenge for me right now, I would say. No, I feel you. I feel like I'll, the majority of creatives in Australia, that would be one of the big challenges yeah. as well. Was there a turning point where music turned from a hobby to your career? I've never thought of music as a hobby. Like, even yeah. though I've been working, like, like at Platypus Hype, like, I was working all these retail jobs, like, I never thought of it as, like, a side hustle. Like, I was always yeah, like, this is my main thing. The retail is yeah, a side yeah, hustle, yeah. I've always said Pretty that much. to you. So, but when things, like, changed and I quit my job and I was like, all right, let's just, like, go all in, was the middle of last year when I was like, I had this job at a gym, I don't, like, randomly, and I would have to, like, open up the gym. And I would like drive home from Sydney the night before. I had a 6 a.m. start. I would wake up at 9 a.m. No one would know that I was yeah. so late because I was opening. And I would open the gym at three hours late. And it was just like, I'm playing crazy. Listen Out one day, going home and then opening a gym. Yeah, so I was like, crazy. yeah, I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I'm just gonna go all in. And then I just quit my jobs and then just started like. Oh. I feel like once you like show, I don't know, the universe, I don't know what you believe in, but once you show that you're ready to commit yourself to something, you start getting rewarded and it just starts happening really naturally anyway. Like It's so it's so much better and so so much more rewarding when you're just like, ah, this is like you're all doing I'm what doing. You love. It doesn't even feel like a job, like sure it gets so stressful, but you're like, at least I'm stressing over what I love and not 100%. something that I don't want to be doing. Exactly, exactly. Yo, what's good guys? We're in Market 755 in Camberwell. Let's see if they have what I'm looking for. You know, Panya, I got you. I'm already going to win. And we're ready. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Market 755 guys here in Camberwell. We're a curated vintage and small brand store here on the east side and I'm bringing the widest range of vintage and small brands to Melbourne. So I had some time to look at Pony's Instagram. I did definitely see some pieces I liked on Instagram page, but I wanted to work around her shoes particularly. So I did go for the baggy, you know, baggy jeans. There was a top that I definitely liked at the store. Oh man, I don't know if I want to put a jacket on her, but I want to just keep it simple because you know, you want something flexible, something that's easy to move around on the stage. It's all about the motion on stage, you feel me? Usually a staple piece for me would be a jacket, but I wanted something to be more flexible and easy to you know, perform on stage, so I just kept it very simple. Oh, nah, nah. Yo, I'm digging this. Panya, you know I already got you. You know I already got you. Come on now. Phoebe, Bernard, Jada, bro, I already got it. I'm sorted. Got these pieces right here. Panya, I'm gonna tell you right now, I've got the fear ready and it's already a win. I'm here at Lost and Found. Yeah, I had a chat with Pania and I, I kind of know what style she's into. It's not what I'd usually wear, but I'm glad we're here at Lost and Found because their selection is crazy. Basically, I'm trying to look for maybe like a bright top, black, 
leather, or just go with all black, but I don't know, like, I feel like she likes colorful. Something I would wear, but she would like, you know, like, try something new. She would wear this. So I'm kind of just looking for an outfit that's in between of mine and Pania's. I was like, why not just look for the fabrics she's into? So I'm looking for leather, a lot of black with a pop of color as well. Is it a concert fit though? I don't know. Ooh. Can the cameraman help me? <laughs> There's too much, There's too much stuff. I've already been to those places, but I don't remember. This is like very low budget kind of outfit, but like I'm trying to show you, you know, like you can create an outfit on a low budget. You know what? It's not about like who wins though. It's about the journey. Yeah, so I just got back from Lost and Found. My fit is actually pretty simple, so I think my plan is add a lot of accessories or sew up some stuff. I'll, I'll just see. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the others have. Alright, so I'm here at Goodbyes. Honestly, it's the best place to find the most unique and rare pieces and I feel as if it's perfect for Panya's outfit as well, so let's see what we find. Alright, so I want to base the majority of my fit in just kind of a whole black silhouette if I can. That's why I've primarily just kind of gotten black pieces. Ideally, I wanted black leather pants, but then I stumbled across a beautiful skirt, and I was like, you know what? Why not kind of make it a little bit more classy slash sexy in a sense? So I might want to play around with some skirts. I've got some skirts here. I picked up this beautiful mesh. It's like a bodysuit. I'm thinking this, and then just a statement jacket on top. All right, so I'm just kind of looking for, obviously something along the lines of the mood board and what Panya kind of wants. But at the same time, I really want her to be quite outside her comfort zone. I had a look on her feed and Instagram and her style was quite consistent, more towards the street style and early 2000s Y2K a little bit. But I'm like, you know what, let me try something different and see, see how we go with that. The way that I see if the clothes of pieces are gonna fit, I was given a rough estimate of like the waist measurements and it's somewhat similar to mine. So I kind of get the pants and put them around my neck. If it's too tight, it won't fit. Too loose, then it's on the baggier side. My mom told me that trick and has not done me wrong to this day. Thank you so much, appreciate you. All right guys, got the goods and now what's left is just kind of show the fits of Panya and I hope she likes it. Let's get it. We're here at Fugu Wears in Fitzroy. I've come here because I think it'll be the perfect place to find a signature party outfit. Hi, I'm Ewan. And I'm Corey. Uh, welcome to Fugu Wears. We're based in Fitzroy. We sell vintage, a lot of dope shit. Come on down, check us out. So what I was looking for was a um, very 90s, early 2000s influence. Panya said that she's really inspired by Aaliyah's style and other music videos from 
the early 2000s, late 90s. I was keeping my eye out for key brands like FUBU, Sean John, and I definitely found a lot of that. I think I got it. Thank you. Woo. So we just finished up and I think I have a winner. I'm looking forward to seeing Panya in the pit. We are here at Pania's show and she's gonna perform soon. And none of us actually know what outfit she's picked, so let's go suss that out. <laughs> Alright, so Pania's gonna go backstage and before her last couple of songs, she's actually gonna go in the winning fit and then come out in it. The only thing we can do is just wait and just, you know, see what she kind of picks, so let's see. May the best fit win! One, two, three! Oh, wait, okay. May the, May the best fit win! Three, two, one! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't know, I wasn't expecting to win. I just knew the others would kill it because I'm not like usually a stylist. But I was so happy because, yeah, I didn't even sleep for that outfit, so. It was so worth it. If I didn't win, oh my god, it would have been for nothing. I think Phoebe's fit was really impressive. The fact that she had to improvise with the skirt and ended up making a whole skirt, the effort really showed and she really did a great job. Yeah, Phoebe blew it out the water. It was very much a rock star fit, a performance fit, fit made for an artist. Everything about the piece just stood out to me. The all black, you can't go wrong with black. The leather, just the star. I'm like, this is some rock star fit. And I definitely loved how she put everything together. The show's concluded, as you can see, we're outside. And I guess Phoebe took the win. Yay. Yes, sir. Yay. Big congrats to Phoebe. Fire Thanks, for real, for Thanks, real. Hey, what, what you gotta she say about it. Killed I'm it. just really happy I won. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't win. <laughs> I, but yeah, you guys don't know what I went through something that, so I'm just like glad oh, that yeah. it didn't come. I was on the day as well. The skirt, yeah. So I'm yeah. like, I'm like, no, you got it. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry about what I got. So we just wrapped up everything. We're gonna go back to the studio. We're gonna take you guys along, and you guys follow us. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> was that first take sway? Damn. You already know. All right, so we're back in the studio, and if you made it this far, honestly, shout out to you. And if you guys have just seen, Phoebe obviously took the W. Yes, sir. Congratulations to her, she put in a lot of effort and honestly, she deserved the win. Big congratulations on Pioneer's tour. Make sure you guys check out her music. We also wanted to thank all of the stores for plugging us with clothes for the styling. And if there's anyone else you want to see our style, just make sure you comment down below. And thank you guys for the love on the first episode. Stick around for more. 
All right, that's fourth wall out. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> 